facts can also be hierarchical. So a hierarchical fact just means that we're stating some relations that within them have more relations. Because relations can contain relations in addition to symbols. I can say fact. The following two things are in a dog relation. The name is Abraham and the color is white. Now what have I done here? I've really just said there's three things in a relation together. But instead of just using symbol Abraham and symbol white, I've nested within them relations. And these are relations that have only two elements instead of three. But that's fine, you can have as many elements as you want. And in this way, I've come up with a convention for labeling the different pieces of information about my dog. So this is a separate fact about Abraham, not including its parent, just saying Abraham has the name Abraham and a color that is white. And I'll have three colors of dogs. So I have a tan dog, another white dog, another white dog, another tan dog, and let's say I also have gray dog. Okay, so I still have Abraham Burhock, Clinton, Delano, Eisenhower, Fillmore, Grover, and Herbert. But I've stated information about their color in these nested structures as opposed to just a flat fact. Now these are still simple facts in the sense that all I'm doing is stating the conclusion of the fact. There are no hypotheses that need to be satisfied in order for this fact to be true. It just is now that I've stated it. What's different in this example is that there's structure to the facts. Now variables can refer to both symbols or whole relations. So I could ask very specifically, is it the case that there's a dog that's name is Clinton and the color is some color that needs to be specified? And the logic language will say, yes, there is, just as long as that color is white. But I can also say, is there a dog whose name is Clinton and has some statistics about it, some information? And that stats will just be whatever's filled in right here. So it says, yes, I know something about a Clinton. This entire query will be satisfied as long as you bind the variable stats to the value, which is a relation itself, color white. So in this way, we can look up partial pieces of the hierarchical structure or the symbols at the leaves. Now for a final example, let's say we state all these facts. And in addition, we state all the facts about parents, which gave us this structure. And we state the recursive fact that an ancestor relation exists between any two dogs as long as there is a chain of parent relations between them, which is the same ancestor fact that I had before. As I start accumulating facts in this way, I can ask quite advanced queries. I can ask which ants, which dogs have an ancestor of the same color. Now, before I show you exactly how to state that, you actually know everything in order to write that query yourself. So it's a great idea to try it out. So here's the query. It has three relations. I need it first to be the case that there's a dog of a particular name X and a fur color, which we'll call fur. I also need it to be the case that there's an ancestor relation between Y and X. So X is the dog, Y is the ancestor, Fur is the color of the ancestor's fur, which is supposed to be shared with the dog. Okay, we've already established that the dog has the name X and the fur color fur at the same time. The last piece is the connecting the ancestor. It has to be the case that there's a dog by the name of Y, the ancestor's name, who has the same colored fur. And is there such a relation? In fact, there are several. I could have Barack and Eisenhower both sharing the tan color. Clinton and Abraham, C and A, are both white. Grover and Eisenhower are both tan. And Herbert and Fillmore are both gray. 
Now, this is a pretty interesting relation because it's combining multiple data sources. I stated a bunch of facts about dogs and their names and their colors. I also stated a bunch of facts about parent relationships. I used a recursive fact to talk about ancestry. And putting all those things together allowed me to figure out these relationships, which might be interesting for doing some sort of research on the coloration of dogs as they, um, as they breed over time. Or at least it makes a pretty picture. Okay, so we've put together a lot of pieces of the logic programming language. These more advanced features such as recursive facts and hierarchical data aren't always natively supported in uh, logical programming languages or declarative programming languages in general. Because these are the things that make searching over the space of all possible facts quite difficult and so it can give you problems with scale. But we're going to look at the details of how all of these mechanisms can be implemented in quite a simple way in the next lecture.